All right, here we go. Today I have got three items from Amazon that I'm going to make kind of a short little review about. First of all, let's start with the Z-O-M-E-I, Zomi, Zomi, Professional Tripod. It says Professional Tripod, and it is in the color of, give me a moment, there's red, black, and other. I have the black one. It says on the sticker, Tripod for iPhone, and it says Ball Head and Carrying Bag, and it's a new item. There is a website at www.zomei.com. I got this to use as a cell phone stand and a tablet stand. Um, the reason why is because I wanted something a bit easier to use for in my bedroom at night when I'm laying in bed watching a movie on my cell phone rather than having it on the bed in front of me like this. I'd rather have it off to the side. And with the in information on Amazon, it said it also holds um, a tablet nicely. Ah, there it is. And this here is a gooseneck. It screws on to the tripod, and it screws on to the mount, and then you can adjust it. So that way, if the tripod is sitting straight up, and you want your um, tablet or cell phone a bit bent or at a different angle, you can do that with the gooseneck. It's probably about 12, 14 inches long. If there's information in the, inf the um, instructions about the actual length, I'll let you know here in a minute. There's a nice little carrying bag. I'm not going to drop anything. Nope. Everything's still in the box. Okay. Now. Give me a moment. I personally don't reuse these bags for these kinds of things. Once I take them out of the bag, I usually just stick them in the closet. Oh, and there's a double bag. Just in case there was something inside the bag you didn't want nothing to fall out or something. Okay, let's see here. A lot of times when you get a plastic bag like this, some of the times they'll be um stapled together or folded over and tape. This will just tucked in between the tripod, which was nice.
leveler part kind of stands out because it's white. What if it was orange or even red? Would have looked nice too. But so far so good. It looks sturdy enough. I'm not planning on using it like it's outside or someplace where I'm going to need to use it a lot like that. I do plan on using it in my bedroom to hold my cell phone and my tablet for like at night. So I don't have like um, a stand or nothing in there. Let's see. Tripod user's manual. Mm, thank you for purchasing. Pan head one fourth inch screw. Fasten the device onto the tripod. Okay, that's what that's for. Pan head lock knob. Central knot lock. Central bridge. Flip lock. And rubber feet. Okay, that's all that's on it. Um, notice. When you receive this product, please check that everything is complete. Tripod, gooseneck, and... Hold on a moment. Alright, one moment, and I'll show you how that works. Little red clicky thing in the bobber. Aha! For the... Selfie me switch. It seems like everything's there. Alright. Be sure to fully open the tripod when using it to ensure that the screws and locking parts are fixed and locked to avoid accidental damage to the camera. Do not use a tripod in an unstable place. Be sure to remove the camera from the tripod when moving the tripod. Avoid using at temperatures both under. Mm, okay, please pay attention to cleaning after use. Mm, tripod. The tripod is equipped with safe load. Okay. Well, it's a tripod. Everybody knows how to use tripods. Okay, there we go. Okay, so, so far, this here. The little rubber gripper seems to be a little loose on the bottom. As you can see, it's kind of like coming apart. Actually, it just popped off of there. Ah. Probably in case your phone is a bit wider or something or has its own case. Mm. I wouldn't really suggest. Who's more of a locking thing? I think. I'm not sure. Well, there's a little lock symbol kind of a thing, like a pushing thing. Maybe a push in to make it wider. Oh, there we go. Okay. Ooh, this sucker gets pretty wide, you know. It opens up pretty good. So what you have here is a little locking doodad. And what you do is you make sure that's closed all the way. The thing is, it seems to open up easily enough. But the locking part does not seem to want to relock once you get it open. Push it closed and hit the button. Okay. So here's what it is. Here's what it is. Not here what it is. Here's how it is. It opens this way for like a cell phone. It will not open this way. This one will not open. This one will open. If you want this one to open, make it wider, you gotta hit this little button. So open, no open, hit the button, and this plastic part comes out, and then this extends. So now both sides are open, but this is spring-loaded. This, not spring-loaded. You want it to close. You gotta close it on both sides, push in on that button, and then you close the rest of the way, and now, Now, the plastic part won't open. That's all that is. It's kind of a safety thing to keep your 
your device from opening it too far and falling out. So. I have got a 7 inch tablet right here. Right here. So let's just. Oh yeah. We're looking to make a 10, 12 inch tablet here. Look at this sucker. See how wide it. Oh, sorry. Off the camera. See how far that thing opens up? You're good. You're pretty good with whatever size tablet you're trying to put in there. I have a 10 inch in the room, but not don't have that in this room. I have my master bed. So. So far, it looks pretty good. And there's two ways you can mount this onto your gooseneck, or you can do it without the gooseneck, straight to the tripod. There is this little part, part on the back, and it screws it right on. You can mount it like that, upright, and just adjust it. Or, if you want to mount it from the bottom, you can do that as well. This depends on your preference. Oh, come here, you funny guy. And no, there was no length mentioned for the gooseneck adapt um, extension, but I'm guessing about 12 inches. All in all, it's a pretty nice setup. It's really cool. Um, Let you know here in just one moment. All right, it does not show how far it opens up, though. And I don't do tape measures. I probably give you the wrong measurements anyway. <coughs> um. This here selfie switch. Is battery powered, not Bluetooth? Mm -hmm. You get what you pay for it. If you're going to get one of those like tossed into a tripod, you're going to get the battery kind. But all in all, things seem to be pretty cool. The only thing I do not like are the little clips that come with these. To hold these because 9 times out of 10, they break or they just do not fit. This looks more like the slip-in kind. Oh yeah. Okay, you see? That just pops right into the little red compartment and it pops right in the tripod. And it seems sturdy enough. There's a clip on each side and on the bottom so it don't fall out, which I like. Now the red, eh, it's nice and all, but I would have preferred like something that stood out more, like a yellow or an orange. But you probably get these in different colors if you want to order just that little part yourself. But all in all, a heck of a nice little cheap setup. You can use it inside, outside. Um, if you're camping or whatever, you want something to hold your tripod, do family photos, watch a video, whatever. Good option. Um, that's item number one. Like I said, trimming kits, I don't really deal with those. Um, item number two. Item number two. Item number two is a Artec A R T E C K Artec. I believe how you pronounce it. It's an H B zero three zero B universal backlit Bluetooth keyboard. Certified frustration free packaging. Ooh. It says on the back. It's light, slim, portable, seven color, backlit, and universal. The, um, okay, it's just explaining things about Bluetooth. Yeah, I already know about Bluetooth. Now, what I liked about this was the website information said it's, like, basically compatible with, like, cell phones, tablets, computers that have Bluetooth. Now, my laptop has Bluetooth. My laptop already has a keyboard. So, not really a whole lot to worry about that. But what I would like is to add a Bluetooth keyboard to my desktop. I could.
currently have, I'll show you what I currently have here in one second, extra packaging. This here was just to hold the cell phone um, charging cable down. Because it's actually a cell phone charging cable that they use. It's a micro, micro USB, actually. Um, give me one moment, we'll put this box on the floor. Sorry about my hair, I got my fan, it's like really warm in here for being April. Oh, let's see, where did my little thing go? Well, anywho, I have got a little, I can't find it right at this moment. I have got a little keyboard, about yay big, for my desktop. And it's got the little scroll box on it, which takes forever to scroll. So it's like boring as hell. There's no backlight, there's no light up, there's nothing. Had probably four years, maybe? And I have only been using it for the last year on my desktop because I don't really use my desktop a whole lot. I use it for more entertainment purposes, like listening to music, watching movies. So that little tiny, I'm gonna take this off here, that little tiny um, rechargeable keypad controller just upgraded something awful to this beautiful little guy right here. It's an RTX. There's a connect button, an off on button, there's a caps, cap lock light, there's a status light, a charge light, and a power light. This baby is sleek and sexy. Look at that. It's so freaking cool. There is a, a warranty claim at support, um, double dot support at Artec. It's like their support website right, right on the back. Really cool. Let me see if this little puppy got any power. Oh, it has power. Oh, it has power. Come on. Okay, let me just. And this little bag, you can bother King with it. I think it's grippers for the feet or something. I don't know. Probably these weird, weird little dots or something on there. Okay, it's got a good, bad review thingy. And our tech instruction manual. Let's see, because both teams like to like seven different colors, I'm guessing. Oh, I actually read it and I think it's seven. Welcome. Mm, yes, thank you for the warm welcome. Okay. Thank you for choosing this Artec HB030B wireless keyboard. To ensure optimum performance and safety, please read these instructions carefully before operating this product. It is strongly recommended you keep the manual for future references. Okay. The statement Bluetooth word mark. Yeah, okay. Most of the Bluetooth. Um, product specifications, standard micro USB interface. Um, operating distance up to 10 meters, um, voltages, um, lithium battery life, three years, keying life, keying life, three million strokes, operating temperatures, package contains, okay, on off button, on off connect, caps light, okay, the lights, function keys, home, copy, search, play, pause, okay. Um, Android system and Windows system. Uh, steps to pairing the keyboard with your device. Notice how do I change the specs on? Press the F and then light key one time to turn on the backlight. Press the second time to enhance the backlight. Press the third time to fully turn off the backlight. Press F and plus light plus P G up. Or press F and light PG down to switch the backlight colors. Okay, so we can change the brightness. We can turn it on and off, and we can change the colors. And it does have seven colors. Okay. Don't what the hell do you say? <laughs> okay, I'm excited to use this. Okay, what do we do? Press F and light. Okay, there we go. And F and. Anything is as dead as a doornail because it says nothing.
thing on there. Okay, let's turn it off and back on. Okay, there, it says power. Doesn't say anything about I have to charge it. F N, like, maybe we gotta connect it before this will even work. Oh, goodness gracious. Let's see. Carrying on the keyboard slide and power button on. The blue power light will indicate four seconds and then turn off to say power. The keyboard is still on. Press the connect button. The status indicator will blink blue. On the device, select settings Bluetooth on. Your device will display a Bluetooth 3.0 keyboard as a, okay. Here's what we're gonna, I'm gonna try and connect this to my uh, Bluetooth here. Okay, it's on, let's hit connect. Okay, set it. Okay, let's go Bluetooth devices. Add a Bluetooth device. Come on. I mean, it should have detected it, but now you add a Bluetooth or other device. Bluetooth, there we go. Make sure device is turned on and on. Aha! Keyboard, there we go. Connecting. Technique without putting a code. No. Okay. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Look at that color. Isn't that just pretty? Kind of a bluish. Okay. Now let me see here. Okay. The command. Press F and light key one time to turn on the backlight. Turn it the same time. To enhance the backlight third time to turn it up. Okay. F and light. go brighter. It starts at green, then it goes like an aqua, and then it's off. Okay, whatever. Let's go on. Let's go page up. Okay, wait. Four button. F and light. Page up. Okay. F and light. Page up. Okay, green, purple, kind of a tealish, green, blue, red, yellow. Oh, maybe go with the more of a backlight effect, but let's go FN light to make it a bit brighter. I guess at night it would look nice, but right now with the light on you can barely see it because it's behind the keys I'm guessing. All in all, pretty cool though. Worth the money because it was like worth over, it was like original price of over 50. I paid like around 14-ish, under 20 I know. So all in all, I'm going to turn that off to save on the batteries because I charge it when I'm done. All in all, totally worth it. Um, bad review. Sad face. Happy review. Happy face. Um, we're just happy that you like the product. We suggest as below for your, we suggest as below for your happiness. Well, anywho, um, let's see here. Third item I got was, okay, now I told you I had the rechargeable keypad thingy for my desktop, which is on the floor currently. The thing is, that keyboard is Bluetooth. I do not have a Bluetooth adapter or Bluetooth on my desktop currently. So I also bought a Bluetooth adapter, 4.3 Bluetooth, USB 2.0, Operation range 20M. Supports Windows XP, Vista, Windows 7, 8, 8.1, and 10 system. That's a little adapter. But at the same time, there is the... It came like open without cutting my fingers open. Some of these little packages get pretty darn sharp. Thanks very much for your order. Customer satisfaction is our top priority. 
it'd be much appreciated if you could share your purchase experience with others on Amazon size. It means site, not size. If you have any concern about our product and service, please do not hesitate to contact us via email. manual how you how to install the thing thing is the disc is one of them tiny discs it's cool though they were like well if it's not plug and plug and play we're gonna make sure it works for you anyway you know it's kind of like that and this instruction manual it looks like it's almost five pages six pages long it's a come on you it's a big old manual um Warm tips. Install driver. Please install the driver first before you plug in the wireless adapter to computer. Contact. We're always there if you look if you are looking for future help. Mm. Oh, that's a little smiley. So cute. Okay, but so far it should just install automatically onto my desktop because it's got Windows. Ten, get on out of there. I hate those little gripper things on there sometimes. Sometimes they're big help, other times it's like, how do I get it out without breaking a freaking nail? There we go. It came off. Or out, I should say. Now what I like about this, there's this little hole on there. You can put a little key ring charm on there or something. That way you don't lose it. Plus what also I like about some of these USB adap adapters, you have that little plastic cap so you don't get dust and dirt inside there when it's not plugged into the computer. So nice. Now, Bluetooth, I've got Bluetooth headphones, Bluetooth adapter now, Bluetooth keyboard. A lot of people are doing stuff wirelessly now and them adapters are so convenient because that thing just cost me like five bucks, maybe a little under. I can use my Bluetooth wireless headphones my Bluetooth um, keypad, my Bluetooth, um, I can send files Bluetooth now through my um, cell phone through my desktop. Much, much simpler. So all in all today I had my tripod from yes, no, I'm sorry, tripod came in day before yesterday. My backlight keyboard came in today and the adapter for it came in today. So either way, I'm all good to go. I can use my keyboard on my laptop from a distance or my desktop from a distance. I can also use it on my cell phone, my tablet. I can lay in bed, do this with my keyboard and change videos and stuff on my tablet or on my cell phone compared to pulling it out of the tripod, selecting a different thing, going from there. So, tripod I believe was under 20 Five might have been closer to thirty. I think it was a five dollars off. The keyboard was under twenty, and the adapter was under ten. All in all, a great setup. I can use it in my computer room even. Have my tripod sitting up in the corner, and have my cell phone or my tablet on it. Watch notifications popping up, so I don't have to keep it on my computer. Because sometimes you'll get like you'll turn on your computer and you get like thirty notifications. It's like what the hell? It hasn't been three hours. And that way you can keep it on your tablet or your cell phone rather than on your computer. But, great starter setup. Tripod, Bluetooth keyboard that can work on a cell phone, a tripod, or any Bluetooth device pretty much. As long as it's not like headphones or something because it won't connect to like headphones. It'll connect to something with like a display. Like a Bluetooth on your laptop, your desktop, your cell phone, your tablet, things like that. Um, and the adapter, it, it's cheap, but it, and it had like, I don't know, a few reviews already on it, but I figured it was cheap. I needed it to go from there. But so far, all is good. Once I get the adapter installed, I'll give you guys a couple comments in the video description to show you guys how things worked out. So, later for now, see you guys in bed.